Okay, today, ladies and gents, I wanted to speak about some other uses for text on a curve. And this is a follow-up from the last video I made that talked about um, things you may or may not know about, uh, about applying text to a curve. Um, so I showed you one example yesterday, but there are many examples out there of text on a curve, right? Uh, here, the Starbucks logo um, was one, one good example. Here's um, maybe a less obvious example Philip, for the, this logo for the Philippines right here. See how that, that text is curved? It's not on a straight line. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, here, this, uh, this other logo for something called uh, Flat Rabbit Racing. Uh, both this is a curve and this is a curve. Now, um, this is a very shallow curve. This is uh, obviously something less than circular. Um, it doesn't have to be on a circle, and I think I covered that kind of yesterday. Uh, so uh, let's go back here and talk about some other uses. Um, let's see. So here was one example that I, I did where I was talking about uh, um, or another use you could do. You use text instead of instead of lines, right? Uh, um, so I created this uh, shape that was um, that represents more or less a, a letter, and uh, and instead of using the, the outline, right? Uh, I created something that says "email me here" as text going around the uh, the lines. Um, I could do the same thing here. Uh, if I select uh, both this uh, um, shape, which is uh, an editable shape, and, it, and, uh, and this text here, I can go to the Arrange menu, Fit Text to Curve, and um, if I highlight that, oops, let's see. And then just uh, press con copy it and press Control V a few times. Uh, that's going to go make its way around this shape. And uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and you may have to play around with it a little bit to get it exactly right. But then uh, I can still hit the F4 key like I did yesterday and uh, take the line away and you get this email me here thing where uh, it's in the shape of the NAT symbol. A um, little bit clever. Uh, you can play around with it and make it look a little bit better, especially around the, uh, the corners and stuff like that, but that's uh, another example. Um, and then uh, the last example I wanted to show you was something that um, Egg Bram Hill suggested uh, that I, I show you. It's um, using text as, uh, on, a, on a curve for, um, for drawing things. And uh, my first initial thing was, um, why would I want to do that um, when I could just use a brush, right? And here I've created this, this brush out of, uh, out of this shape right here. Um, and for a, a set of railroad tracks, right? Uh, this, this looks pretty decent. And uh, the great thing about it is it's, a, uh, it's still just a line. And this brush follows this, this line. So I can uh, play around with it and, and maybe make it uh, look however I want. And that looks uh, really good for, for these railroad tracks. Um, the, the issue being, uh, what if you don't want a repeating, uh, a repeating line, right? So let me go ahead and select this again and change the color back to black. Um, you don't want the same shape or, or item repeating over and over again. So here I've created some, uh, uh, some periods and colons and some uh, O's, uh, upper and lower case, uh, superscript and subscript, uh, different things, uh, just to show you what I mean along this, this line. And um, by using that as, a, um, as part of my drawing, right, it can uh, highlight uh, uh, this particular um, area if I were to go do this or something like that, you can see how that, that kind of fades into the background and gives me some texture on this, this sandy beach area. Um, maybe uh, if I want my, and because you have ultimate control of this, this is still uh, all vector. If I wanted those to be, um, instead of this, this sandy color, maybe I want them to be kind of a, a, a more of a rock sh color or something like that, more more gray. I can I can select individual bits of text within uh, um, within an area to uh, to make it uh, 
you know, look exactly like I want to. Now, I've chosen the wrong one. Hold on. Got that line and this text, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I, I just have a, a bit of text that I've written here, and um, again, this is just a copy of, of the first few characters uh, on, on this line. Um, and if I go to Arrange, Fit Text to Curve, uh, and I can go ahead and press F4 right away and change my line width to zero so that that's not in there anymore. Uh, you can see that I can, uh, I can immediately start uh, taking advantage of, of some of these things. I'm going to make that a subscript O and, and this a, a, maybe a, a superscript O. And both of those superscript, right? And then uh, make some spaces in between. Right, um, you can just play around with it. I actually got some semicolons. Oh, I'm hitting the space bar instead of the shift key. That's why. Um, but you just play around, do do what you want, you know, make it look uh, how you want it to, and um, sorry, I'm just trying to uh, get to the end of the line here. something like that. <clears throat> and then if I were to uh, take that and color this the same as what I had before and uh, do the same thing with these rocky colors, right, and make them that grayer color as well, you can see I'm starting to get something that looks a little bit more textured on this, uh, on this sandy beach. Uh, I don't want to um, go go on and on too much about it, but, uh, but you can, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is that um, the, you know, the use of this is pretty much limited to just your imagination. You can uh, uh, do things like this to, to add texture to things. You could, uh, um, you could do something similar um, to, uh, on, on just a, a, a like a, a black and white map or something like that to, to delineate things. You could use text uh, instead, of, uh, instead of a brush, uh, that kind of thing. So um, just use your imagination and, um, and you can come up with uh, all different kinds of ways to, to use this uh, um, text on a curve and, uh, and it'll help you with your, uh, um, with your drawings. Uh, that's all I have. Uh, I hope you found that useful and interesting, and we'll come back and see us again next time.